What's up, everybody? Daniel Francisco here. I'm down in the NJ2AS Bunker Bar where Alexander and I like to get together every once in a while and scheme our next offensive attacks. We get to enjoy one of the last few civil liberties, which is alcohol in this forsaken state. But uh, we wanted to get to you guys and kind of review some of the things that have been going over the last couple of weeks. It's been such a dizzying array of, of controversy that we felt it appropriate to chop up all the content that's been going on at the press conferences and put it together so you can see the exact hypocrisy that not only the governor, but the attorney general and the superintendent of the state police have put forward. So I'm going to put some clips here for you to watch, and then uh, we'll have some commentary after. Just there's a lawsuit, as you probably know, that's been filed on this very topic today, so I, I won't comment on the litigation, and, and we're not going to comment on more specifics right now. The only thing I'll add is I've fielded several emails, uh, phone calls over the past several days with regard to that very issue, uh, and to the governor's and attorney general's point, in consultation with the governor's chief counsel and the attorney general, uh, those stores at this juncture are deemed non-essential, and that was my response. Thank you. And I've got exactly not one complaint from anybody that they were trying to buy a gun and they couldn't, so other than you, and I respect that. But beyond that, I'm going to stay with what I've said already. Thank you for coming out. Dave. I've got exactly not one complaint from anybody that they were trying to buy a gun and they couldn't. I've got exactly not one complaint from anybody that they were trying to buy a gun and they couldn't. There's a lawsuit, as you probably know, that's been filed on this very topic today. So The only thing I'll add is I've fielded several emails, uh, phone calls over the past several days with regard to that very issue. I've got exactly not one complaint from anybody that they were trying to buy a gun and they couldn't. So do you see what we've been talking about now? You can have all three of these guys standing at press conferences on subsequent days directly contradicting one another. On the 23rd, you have the Attorney General acknowledging that he got our lawsuit. Our lawsuit where the plaintiffs are alleging that they can't buy guns, they can't sell guns because the plaintiff is an FFL. And in addition to that, that the ranges and manufacturing centers are closed. So on the 23rd, the Attorney General is acknowledging that they received our lawsuit. Alexander, who is speaking, who's asking that question, is telling him the governor directly, and the Attorney General is acknowledging he's in receipt of the complaint from the plaintiff. So right away, we know they're lying. Then the superintendent of the state police says, we've gotten dozens, we've gotten emails and calls and emails and calls. And two days later, the governor, who was sitting right next to those two guys, has the gall to say, we haven't had any complaints. Not one person has had a complaint. This is what we're up against, folks. But the good news is, one, we're the organization that is not backing down from this. Our lawsuit is still active. It has not been pulled away because, as you know, the only thing we got out of the directives from DHS was our FFLs open. Then they dragged their feet on getting Identigo open. Then they drag their feet on many individual departments starting to accept applications. Our state barracks still are not open because the clerks are home with COVID, uh, with the, you know, COVID being uh, closing everything down. So the battle is still going on. But more importantly, um, Alex is three times in a row has gotten kicked out by armed guards, which you've seen in our videos. So that's where the conversation is going next. And we hope to have an exciting announcement in the next couple of days. So until then... Cheers.